I don't want any fat people to feel uncomfortable at one of my gigs, so next time, buy two seats. I'm, I'm joking. I'm dead. I'm joking. Shut up. I'm not having a go. I'm just pointing out, you know. I was listening to uh, the radio in England a few weeks back, Radio 4, quite highbrow. There was a discussion about political correctness. My name came up straight away, right? And there was this woman on there going, oh, yeah, well, it's, it's not right. Um, uh, Ricky Gervais, um, he makes jokes about fat people. Um, he wouldn't make jokes about gay people, would he? And being fat is like being gay. What? No, it's not. What? <laughs> you can't choose your sexuality. As we've established, you choose whether to eat too much or not. You know, you're, with, with, with your sexuality, you're born, you grow up, you discover you like same-sex relationships, and that's it. You're gay, okay? For being gay to be the same as being fat, you'd have to be born, be straight, grow up knowing you're straight, but gradually and consciously wean yourself onto cock. <laughs> that... Not all women, I, I mean the old-fashioned ones, you know, the old-fashioned women. Oh, God, you know, the ones with wombs. Oh. <laughs> Those fucking dinosaurs. Oh. <laughs> no, I love the, the new women. I know the new women, they're great, aren't they? The, you know, the new ones we've been seeing lately, the, the ones with beards and cocks. They're as good as... <laughs> they're as good as gold, I love them. No, it's the old-fashioned with it. And now the old-fashioned, they go like, oh, they want to use our toilets. Why shouldn't they use your toilets? For ladies. They are ladies. Look at their pronouns. <laughs> what about this person that isn't a lady? Well, his penis. <laughs> Her penis, you fucking bigot. <laughs> what if he rapes me? What if she rapes you? <laughs> you fucking turf whore. I don't know if you're affected by the volcanic ash cloud, um, but I had friends that were stuck all over the world and they missed weddings and funerals and they had to put themselves up in a hotel for extra days that they hadn't budgeted for and they couldn't get their money back because the airlines were saying, no, we can't pay you because the insurance companies won't pay us because they're saying it's an act of God. Well, what isn't an act of God? No, if you believe in God, that's sort of a definition of him, isn't it? That he does everything. Isn't that right? Everything is an act of him. He's all-powerful. He's everywhere at once. He invented everything. There was nothing before him. He invented time, everything. He's across it all, OK? He doesn't miss a trick, and he's not absent-minded. A volcano going off isn't like him going, fuck, I left the oven on. You know, it's... <laughs> And who are these insurance companies that can decide what is and isn't an act of God? How do they know, okay? Have they got a hotline to God? They call him up, do they? Ring, 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 ring. Hello? Uh, could I speak to God, please? Speaking. Oh, I didn't think you'd answer the phone yourself. <laughs> what do you want? Oh, um, that volcanic ash cloud. Uh, was that you? Yeah. <laughs> Yes, that was an act of me, all right. <laughs> so I shouldn't pay out. No, don't fucking pay him a penny, son. No. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. While well, I've got you here, um, did you make a tree fall on Steve Baxter's car? There's a lot of Steve Baxters. Um, Steve Baxter, to Acacia Road, Hounslow. It happened at 2.15 on the 3rd of June this year. 2.15, 3rd of June. No, that wasn't me. I was in Africa that day giving AIDS to babies. <laughs> I know you can't say Chinaman anymore, right? <laughs> I can't believe you ever could, because that is the laziest labelling of a demographic I've ever heard, right? <laughs> so the first one lands on our shores, and we gather around going, what the fuck, where are you from, right? And he goes, China, and we go, oh, you're a Chinaman. <laughs> he goes, I'm a what? You're a Chinaman. A Chinaman? Yeah. What's my wife? Duh, Lady Chinaman. <laughs> Why don't you call me by my name? I don't know your name, do I? <laughs> it's Ling. Ling? Yeah. Is that your first name or your surname? Both. <laughs> Ling Ling? Hero? <laughs> right, no, right. Right. Father, sitting at home, just reading the newspaper. His little girl comes running in. She's only six. 
Hello, darling. Hello, daddy. You've been playing? Yeah. In the park? Yeah. With your friends? Well, until the man came along. Till the man came along? Yeah, a man came along and he asked my friends to leave, so it was just me and him. Darling, come, come over. Whatever happened, none of it was your fault, okay, darling? None of it was your fault, but tell daddy every detail. What happened? Um, he took me behind a tree so no one could see what you were doing. Oh, God, darling, and then what happened? Um, he took my dress off. Oh, God, what happened next? What happened? Um, he took his thing out. Oh, God, darling, and then what happened? Nothing, that was it. Oh, well, make something up. <laughs> he was the ringleader. Old Adolf. That name's died out, hasn't it? <laughs> he killed that dead, didn't he? No one's calling their kid Adolf nowadays. No little Adolf's going to school. Loads of Brads and Angelinas, but no... Look, you don't hear the teacher doing the register. Brad here, Angelina here, Adolf here. Uh, <laughs> I do that quick so no one can take a picture of me doing that. Um, no, but... People make excuses for him. People say, oh, he was stupid, he was easily led, he didn't, he didn't mean that. What do you mean he didn't mean that? They say, oh no, he was influenced by the political philosopher, Friedrich Nietzsche, right? Because Nietzsche wrote this paper um, talking about a, a superman. He, he said, not all men are born equal. And Hitler misinterpreted this and went way too far with it. And uh, <laughs> think of that. You're a great scholar, you've done this work, and you get a call from the Fuhrer. And the Fjord goes, all right, Nietzsche. He goes, yeah, good, what do you want? He goes, just read your book. What do you think? Love it. <laughs> Love all that, man and Superman, not everyone's equal, kill all the Jews, sorry? <laughs> not everyone's equal, so kill all the Jews. I didn't write that. I read between the lines. I, I, I didn't mean that, that's terrible, have you? You haven't, been killing, you, you haven't been killing Jewish people, have you? What? <laughs> have you been killing Jewish people? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> A few. How many? <coughs> Six million. Six million? That's all I won't do anymore. Leave it. Leave it at six. That's terrible. I won't do anymore. Stay for dinner? Well, I will, but be careful in future. I will. Are you writing any other books? Well, I am, but I'm scared to tell you about it. I won't do anything. What's your new book called? My new book is called The Gypsies. Do we need it, Mum? We've come a long way from it being punishable to total equality as it should be, of course. In England, the gay age of consent, same as heterosexuality now, um, 16, and even gay marriage. Um, although, ironically, the one place that was really ahead of the game fell behind a little at the last election, California. They had a referendum, they put it to the vote, and they voted no to gay marriage. I mean, in California, there's people going, that's why we moved here. I mean, it's a, it's a strange sort of bigotry that you can affect someone else's lifestyle that doesn't affect you back. It's not like they asked a bloke once, said, sorry, um, do you mind if these two men get married? He went, no, fine, okay, jack them off then. What? I didn't know that was going <laughs> to... That doesn't happen, does it? That doesn't happen. Look. It's also a strange sort of bigotry because these people that object to that were pr presumably the same people that said, you know, uh, gay people were immoral and promiscuous, but now they don't want to be monogamous and respectful in the eyes of God. And it must be so confusing to a gay guy in California thinking, that's the bit they don't like. With all the other shit we get up to, it's the marriage bit. They must be so confused. They must go to judges and go, sorry, can I get the rules straight? What do you want to know? I just didn't know what we can and can't do. Ask away. Can I marry a man? No. Can I fuck him up the arse and give him a little reach round? <laughs> Please. <laughs> Can't marry him? No. But I'd... in the little... Can I... Can... Can I pick up a stranger in the bushes and take him home and jizz on him and throw him out in the morning all crusty and homeless? Of course you can, yeah. <laughs> but I couldn't marry him, no. 
and no, and don't ask again. Right. Could I line up 15 men? I'm just riffing here. <laughs> Could I line up 15 men and just jack them off for a laugh? <laughs> if you want, yeah, yeah. It would be difficult, wouldn't it? Jacking off 15 men at once. It In the darkness of the night, a flicker starts to glow. A beacon in the shadows, a light that starts to flow Illuminating pathways where once there was despair In the depths of obscurity, hope begins to flare Like a flame in the wind, I ignite from within Casting rays of brilliance, banishing the din With each step I take, I brighten up the way In the realm of shadows, I become the day I'm the light in the darkness, the spark in the night Guiding lost souls towards the morning light Through the tunnels of uncertainty, I'll be the guide For I am the bearer of hope in me, dreams reside In the labyrinth of life, where shadows dance and play I'm the ray of sunshine, turning night into day With every glimmer I cast, I unveil the unseen in the tapestry of existence, I'm the golden sheen From the darkest corners to the highest peak I'm the radiant glow that even shadows seek With every flicker, every beam I emit I dispel the darkness, I never submit I'm the light in the darkness, the spark in the night Guiding lost souls towards the morning light through the tunnels of uncertainty, I'll be the guide For I am the bearer of hope in me, dreams reside In the symphony of life, I'm the crescendo's rise In the canvas of the universe, I paint the skies So let the darkness tremble, let the shadows flee For in the heart of radiance, I'll always be I'm the light in the darkness, the spark in the night Guiding lost souls towards the morning light. It'd be like plate spinning, <laughs> wouldn't it? No, because you'd have, you could only do two at once, really. So you'd have these two ready to blow, but then they'd be losing it, and you'd go, oh, fucking hell. Oh, there you go. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> Ain't it knackering, jacking off 15 men at once? <laughs> Never thought I'd say that. Oh.